Welcome to Tea Time on Floss TV Africa, where we bring to you the biggest entertainment stories and definitely analyze them. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Hey, guys. Hi. What up? How's it going? Good. Enjoy your weekend? Yes. Amazing. Hmm? Yeah. Partially, partially. Partial. Yeah. Mm. Quite partially. I was working. To work. But... We're all working, man. Mm. Oh, you worked? Mm -hmm. But I don't work for. Well. <laughs> no, no. Okay, I didn't work for Plus TV though. Ah, I did not work. But my weekend was weekend strict. Okay, maybe I worked a little bit, but. I yeah, I... but we all have passion in our souls, don't we? Mm -hmm. Um. So the thing is, I work two for seven. But there's a difference when I'm working for my bed, mm. and when I have to get up and, and come be... to be on set. Mm. Okay, so, so you were on set. Yeah. Okay, that true that you're on set. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, I was on set too, but not a movie set. Mm. Okay. Mm. Get your money. He's, he's launching it. Get okay. your money. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what movie is that? When is it coming out? Like, do you really expect me to tell you that? Is that how you speak to celebrities when ah, you have them on the set? Wow, Exactly. Put some sorry. respect on oh, my yeah. name. Sorry. Eh? So why would you be our guest on Tea Time to <laughs> let us know about this movie? Because I'm way too big. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm okay. just joking okay. though. Okay. Very okay. soon, very soon, very soon I'll, I'll be here. Yeah? With my cast and crew. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Moving on to the conversation for the day. I mean, um, still BB Niger 2020 anyway. And Twitter reacts as um, praise gets evicted from the BB Niger house. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was supposed to go at some point. Mm -hmm. But the people that he was standing with, I wish he didn't. I wish he was somebody else. But again, he was the least voted for. So I felt no. he was. He was. He was. Was, was I looking at the wrong? He was going to go so regardless. Was, if we were going to do it the normal way, he would yeah. have gone anyway. Oh, yeah. okay. So when I saw that list, I kind of felt better. Like, okay, oh, okay I guess maybe. But he I'm did very happy it. for Tricky T. Tricky T was like the weakest link. Now he's becoming very strong in the yeah. game, and I'm beginning to admire that because he gave us a lot of um, juice over by on, on Friday, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when he got drunk and he was saying uh, all sort of things. He was asking and, yeah. for forgiveness. Yeah, asking for forgiveness. Was Friday, was and next thing he was singing, was our fears gone. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't get that vibe at all. But amazing stuff. It was on Friday. So Tricky T is beginning to give us content. And um, Watoni. I think he's always giving. I mean, I've hey. always liked Tricky T. Maybe it's just my own personal. I mean, content is different for people anyway. I think I have. But I've always liked his mind, the way it works, and how he's always the one directing the um, tax when it has to do with acting and things like that. So, no, that wasn't even the first <laughs> one. Yeah. So I think I, I like him for that. And I've never been listening to him as the weakest link. But yeah, I don't follow it that much. So I would okay, don't, maybe that was wrong to call him the weakest link because they are weaker people than Tricky what, T. Right? What, what are we basing that opinion on? Is it based on Okay, from maybe the if I say weakest link, maybe based on guys in terms of content. Right. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Ozo is weakest. Mm, they'll come no, to me now. Ozo. He, he, he's Ozo's giving us Nengi vibe now. <laughs> yeah, chasing you know, Nengi. That's what yeah, yeah, that relationship. It's that, content, sometimes, so man. You know, people so. are lonely people in this love world, though. So. People are lonely. So once he doesn't, he doesn't have a presence for me. It's very hard to watch him. And Even his cute. voice makes me sleepy. And it's he, cute, has, so. he has the um, fine presence, boy yeah. pr um, privilege going on. Yes, I, ha I have to admit that. But I don't watch him. I'm like, oh, this is really interesting. He's not giving me any vibes at all, except when he's chasing. Okay, so now put so him next to Tricky T. Tricky T is not so cute. What vibe is Kid giving? Action! What action? Action. <laughs> oh, action. Like, kid, uh, why are, are you asking about kid? Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to ask me what kid is given now, kid. Uh, no, side if, by side with Ozo now. Side by side uh, with Ozo. He gives us more cons. He, he has more no, presence. No, no, apart, He's a lot apart, more interesting. Apart, apart more He's presence. more active. He has more friends more in the house. He's more intelligent. For a rich kid, he holds down well the conversation. Do you understand? So rich kids are not well -behaved. A lot of rich kids are not well behaved. Let's be realistic. Uh -huh. But this guy is a rich kid with values that knows exactly what he's yeah. doing. I feel he like he's actually control. quite he's, intelligent. Yeah, he's intelligent. You know, he's not acting like, yo, I'm sports, I'm rich, mm. so I, I don't really care. You get it. He's acting like, man, I really need this money. He's acting like a Lakon right now. If I have to do it, like, mm. he's acting the way Lekon should be acting. <laughs> <laughs> so, I yeah. think... Yeah, I mean, even Ozo is well-behaved and stuff. I just, I just don't think he has a lot of presence. 
Um, maybe the only thing I like about him is how empathetic he is. Like, he's so into his feelings. Don't you think that like, the reason that presence is looking that much for Kid is the fact that there was a triangle nah. and that conversation actually boosted Lacon, Erika, and Kid's, I mm -hmm. mean, their attention in our own There was eyes. a triangle between Dorothy, Nengi, and um, Ozon. He still didn't give But that content. triangle broke real quick like dirty but while it was happening he did, my guy did not do much oh, okay. and it happened for a long time it was only until recently that um dorothy started back hanging around with other people back to praise though mm. yeah i really wish he stayed longer because i would have liked, would you have i'd have loved for? to see we would have stopped um, him for? no disrespect no disrespect because i know you still come on this show but i would have rather uh, <laughs> a tricky tea than a praise right you want the tricky tea to leave than impress? No, do you know why? No, no, not because I don't like tricky tea mm -hmm. or a watoni mm -hmm. to a praise. Mm -hmm. But why I wanted praise to stay a little, even if it was just one week. I need to see what will happen between him and Pichet Sozoko. Yeah, wow. I think so too. So yeah. Lucy's special as well. Of the big brother. He's been saying that the whole time. I, I feel like um, Watoni will like, be more deserving to go. I don't think she offered that much per se. Um, she's offering a member vibe now. Yeah, oh. she's been gossiping a lot. Who? Watoni. And then, um, what's up with V? I don't. V, like, what's, what's up with her when they asked her about the drink? She was talking about the She said it with thing. her chest. She said rubbish with her chest. That, I mean, that's, not, that's you know, what people are saying. That's, that's what I hate. But in my head, you said rubbish with your chest. Yeah. Because, because you, do you, you know the part that turned me off? I mean, yes, she was saying things and it was making sense. Like, yeah, you're saying how you feel. But when she said, why would you be kissing your boyfriend in front of, of your friend ah, that has. I'm really? like, you know what came to my mind? So if you're married. And you're living in a house which is not your house but it's rented, yeah? And then the landlord eyes you. You will not sleep with your husband again but, but, because I don't understand. What? But we all saw it when she was talking to Leko and she was talking about the old juju thing, right? Mm. But when she was asked by Ebuka, she was making it look like um, that that was me just being a bit extra. Mm. Like, you were not being a bit extra. That's you the type of person. Real, yeah. Yeah. I can't use the B word on air, but nah. She's, yeah, she's that's, yeah. That's, the kind of person I never want to be friends with. That's, yeah, that's the too. type of person nah, you are. Too. Then also... Bright, the fear of bright is the beginning of wisdom. No, I lost fear for bright when he couldn't even own up to his statement. I'm like, that you're not, is they what are I'm not telling so... you that that is Lord Bellish. That's like <laughs> a Game of Thrones. Do you understand? Yeah. That's the guy that'll come and whisper this year, yeah, whisper. But when they but call him to chicken, come, he's a chicken. Like yeah, he's, he's a, a chicken. real chicken. And I like what they call um, I said, like, what Ibuka. Ibuka did. They said, "Are you being a chicken right now? Am I a liar? Mm. Do you understand? But, but, but by now, I think, they, I think they, they should have known that if Ebuka brings up something, he's saying it with facts. Like we can watch you. He's not gonna say something that. That. And he showed it in the highlight, anyways. So why is this problem? I mean, just is, that's okay. why I said the fear Let's, of bright at the beginning of mm, fear that guy. Let's not finish the whole show. Lord bright. In, in fact, change his I name to Lord bright. I see that we are watching, yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, now, still on BB Niger, joining the list of personalities who would not stop wishing politics in Nigeria gets the same attention as Big Brother Nigeria reality TV show is Nollywood actress Kemi Lala Akindoju. She said, and I quote, I still wish we would take our elections and holding our leaders accountable as seriously and passionately as we take Big Brother. I wish young people will give the same energy to register to vote when it is time. We have to do more to fight for our country, end of quote. Sorry, can I come in real quick, yeah? I wish the celebrities would take more, give more attention to advocating for better causes than coming against BB Niger. Because yes, we agree, we're all at fault. We're giving a lot of attention. But when you guys also have- Is that even a fault? What? Is that even a fault? <laughs> Let's um, but no, no. At the end of the day, we have to admit it that there's some truth in it that there's we're no not truth giving. That what? I cannot watch people than I join peace. No, but we're not giving a lot of attention to very important if stuff. If I just finish first, finish. You understand? Finish what you're but at the end of the day, too, I wish all the celebrities instead of coming against BB Niger and trying to blame the youth. What have you done? What empowerment have you put in place for youth in terms of politics, in terms of stopping rape, in terms of um, po um, um, police, brutal police brutality, in terms of accountability, in terms of holding our politicians accountable for collecting money, for fraud, for corruption, for all of that. You're not using your platform, but as soon as a big brother in Nigeria is putting 85 million naira on the table to help at least one person's life, <laughs> and that one person <laughs> will help a lot of other people. What are you guys doing about it? Mm. Yet you come out to tell her, and Honestly, even Frank and do start doing but I things. I think I think I'm really tired of this line of conversation. And um, if we can agree, we we'll probably not have to talk about it when another person wakes up to make this kind of comments about BB Niger anymore. Because I don't understand it when it comes to politics. Let me say you're basing your attention on Big Brother Nigeria, this hypothetically speaking, mm. on the trends on social media. 
we see other issues as well come up and the youths get up and do the right thing, mm. right? I mean, maybe I should bring in the NBA drama that happened last week and then the petition mm. and having Nasir mm. El-Rufai being taken off as the um, person that's supposed to give, I think it's their keynote speech or something mm. for their upcoming conference. That is one out of many. Even at the fact that people are watching Big Brother Nigeria, all that conversations are it's ongoing and mm -hmm. things are happening and people are putting in their inputs and debating it and saying we want this, we want that why it, i just feel like sometimes when they want attention they decide to pick on big brother and all that and these same people still go back to watch big brother so imagine the youths don't pay attention to entertainment where will it come in the lack in the mm -hmm. be anyway mm -hmm. so the fact is big b niger is an extension of the entertainment industry in nigeria and it is quite interesting to see entertainers coming out to also bash that platform is this from a place of hurt is it from a place of jealousy are you scared that when these people come out you will no longer be relevant why or exactly are roles. you bashing people that are just trying to smile? Because you cannot compare registering to vote for Nigeria yeah. and registering to vote for BB Niger. Like, I don't on. understand. How and, do you compare and that? That's why I was saying to you, if I don't think we're doing anything wrong with watching Big Brother and making a fuss about it. First of all, not every youth in Nigeria watches Big Brother. There's quite True. a lot of people on my time and I cannot even Relate. stand it. So even, and that, that, does, that doesn't mean that because they don't watch Big Brother in Nigeria, they're interested in sports. Mm. So don't act like t watching Big Brother in Nigeria is taking away from act, um, actively participating in politics in Nigeria. If I don't want to participate in politics in Nigeria, I don't want to participate. And if I want to, I'm pretty sure Big Brother Nigeria is not the reason to stop me. And secondly, I don't see any of these people showing us how <coughs> to go about it. If you want to talk about Mali, well, somebody that brought up Mali as well, I don't know if you saw that tweet, where so the 25-year-old that um, led the coup in Mali mm -hmm. or whatever, they brought that up. Look at the history of Mali, of, of, of um, the, I don't want to say Malians now, I don't know what they're called, it's Malians now. Yeah. Sounds too much like mm -hmm. Mali. Um, hmm. Look at the history of those people. They've had their, their leaders, their old, the older generation do the exact same thing. South Africa is another place like that. They've had their old, the older generation do that. The older generation that's talking about us, what have you done in your own time? What did you do to show us that, oh yes, if we follow your steps, we would, well, ex well following exactly your steps, you've, you've kept quiet, you've followed everything, you've become complacent, and that's what the youth are doing. So if they want to now participate in Big Brother Niger, not even let to them do that. You here. Sure, These are the same right people right. But still, that you, you can call you, you, them to give a statement on an issue that is trending based on policy, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to be seen as the government enemies. These are some of the responses we get when we reach out to celebrities yeah. to lend their voice to issues, but going on Twitter to be the keypad warrior yeah. to tell us what to do is the best thing ever. And yes, I maybe mean, two wrongs don't make it right, but I feel like the first person to make the wrong doesn't have a right to talk about the other person's wrong. So if I'm going, if you're going to chastise the youths about um, not participating in, in um, politics, we'll have that conversation, but not like this, and not from people like that, and not about Big Brother Niger. So nah. to the celebrities out there, you guys have trigger fingers, but instead you're using your Twitter. But anyway, fingers. dear youths, please pay attention to politics. It's time for a quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling alright. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back to Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Britney Spears conservatorship has been extended to 2021 and um, everything remains the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. I don't think that's what she wanted. Um, this story has given me the heebie-jeebies. In the statement that the father made to page six, I'm saying that, uh, what's it called? The court knows best for my daughter. That really gave me a serious cringe. True. Because for me, that showed that, yeah, my, he was right when he said we don't know what's going on, but 
there's clearly not a family union going on there because somebody who actually loves their daughter and this is a personal thing would never think that the courts it's, it's kind of purely business now yes. there's nothing about father or mother exactly no family a parent relationship and for yeah. me that is a big problem. Um, problem and i hope that the court sees that if you are going to give the conservatorship to the father because he's the father and he's the best person for that but he's not even actually Acting walking like in father. the role of a father then then you can as well get somebody who's hired to be a conservator or whatever so or who's trained to be a conservator yeah so i think that i think i feel like it's it's a really miserable story um 2021 is a long time away for somebody to still control my life. Even when people control my life in like tiny percentages, it hurts and I'm overwhelmed by that. And I imagine like somebody that controls your career choices, your money, your life, your movement and everything. So, well, good luck to her. I hope that she can handle it and that someday this girl will actually get the freedom that she deserves. Well, like we said on the last um, episode where we spoke about the story, right? I think the fault still boils down. Or the onus is still on Britney Spears. She needs to have some sense of ownership. She needs to feel like, or she needs to start showing us that she's in control of her life because you're How's she gonna do that? How is she gonna do that? By getting her life together, whatever is making them still feel you need a conservatorship. Get a hold of yourself, put yourself together. You're a grown ass woman that can handle your affairs. Stop acting like you need these people all the time. She's acting pretty dependent for somebody who is sane minded. Okay, but the thing about conservati conservatorships here is that it's not something. Once that decision has been made, it is you can't. I don't think you can ever necessarily remove. Con no, you um, can't. You can't because one of the reasons is mental health, right? Mental health is something that you can necessarily cure. So it's not a point where you can get to a point and say, "Oh, it is impossible for me to ever get depressed again," or "It's impossible for me to ever." Do you, do you know what I mean? So if you have a certain, if in a category of um, chronic um, mental health situations, you always have to be supervised to make sure that it's under control and things like that but so if in like that case in that it, it's not a matter of act right because you can have a good phase and you have a bad phase the, pro the point is that the conservatorship can then be altered to a point where the person can have a little more control but at the end of the day the person will always need that Someone. control and which is what she's trying to do i think she's trying to actually prove that she has herself together by asking for a better Conservative. conservator so she she's owning her life and wants more freedom to be able to execute decisions on her own but the conservatorship that she has currently is not allowing her to do that so until you've given her that freedom and then she's like abused it i don't see how this is on her for me sha hmm. to me i think it's clearly or not though and um, like we rightly said, the dad is acting like it's just business right now. And mm. I think he has um, more interest in what he's gaining from being a conservator than what is best for his daughter right now. So he's more like, I really don't care about your feelings, but I care about what I gain from being your conservator right yeah. now. And because um, if he wants the best for his daughter, if, if, if his daughter says, I want my long-time manager to be my conservator you should put that into consideration as a father at least not as a conservator this time as a mr spares right mm. okay uh, moving on to the next story south african actress and tv host bell thusi found herself in what i would like to describe as hot water over the weekend after revealing that she will be interviewing retired comedian monkezi um tolasmo malangu um Ma so <laughs> Ma what mashango right okay Ma so to last more had been accused by actress and model lerato molio of sexually assaulting and raping her while working on a television production in 2014. Um, Thusi is being accused of being tone deaf. She shared a video of her excitement about the return of her show and the guests she will be interviewing, which included um, to Lasmo and his wife. Mm. Good thing is that it's been canceled. The interview has been canceled, but I just feel like um, a lot of um, the fans, sometimes we need to start um, be deliberate about what we want to go out there because this lady came out and she was like okay my show is coming back who are the people you want to see and this guy's name kept coming up like a lot of people actually wanted her to mm. interview this guy mm. right and then the guy gets chosen right mm. so like i think it should have been from when she put out that at least she gave us the option of picking mm. would you want me to interview and then i think it's our mindset too we are the ones sometimes that push these people into doing what they want remember it is a business for them they are also trying to get traffic they're also trying to get content mm. so if the viewers are saying we want this guy we want this guy 
we want this guy, we want this guy. We can't keep blaming them. Was she wrong considering the fact that the rape stuff is still very, very fresh, right? Yes, it may have been too soon to have that interview. I don't interview. think it's That's not the problem. I, I think it's just about her. Um, I think um, the, the, network. the network as well or the platform mm -hmm. as well would have a level of blame because, I mean, she's not the producer, the editor and everything mm. on the show. She is the anchor of the show mm. and I want to believe that she has a level of production work on the show as well, but, but she doesn't call the whole shot, yeah? Mm. But I think um, the execution of that interview might also be the major problem. I think when it's you the come only on problem, so actually. so excited mm. to interview someone that has been accused of raping someone and it, it, it felt, okay, maybe I... I to not open old wounds now. So, um, the bunch case. Imagine when those things were still going on, and then I pick up my phone and I'm so excited in the middle oh of that gosh, drama. I'm like, oh I'm my God, we're about to interview the band, sending your questions and all that. How exactly would you feel? to see that at that time. So this is exactly what is going on currently. Yes, he has not been proven a, to be a rapist, but he, ha also, he has also not been proven to, to be, be innocent. innocent at the same time. We need to wrap up. So and I, I think, that, I think that's the problem. I don't think that there's anything wrong with interviewing people. And I, I, I don't see that as a problem. He, if anything, everybody needs, deserves oh a chance to speak. Um, that was done clearly with R. Kelly, with all of them. Um, even Harvey, Harvey just declined. There's nothing wrong with you getting um, whoever, Matos, whoever his name is, to the show. To but then you yeah, but he, she acted like a, a groupie. So I managed to run to Showmax really quickly to catch the, uh, the interview, but I didn't actually even watch everything. She looked like she was very excited to be there. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to be in his presence. I was a big fan. That for me is insensitive. Even if you believe or you have some type of insight that this person might be actually uh, innocent or whatever. For the for public face and to show maturity, you have to act pretty um, unbiased. As a professional though, as a professional journalist, you're not supposed to let your emotions show on the show. Okay. So if my um, personality is excitement, I'm That was not on the show. Excitement. That was a pre-video. No, a pre-video, whatever it is. I'm, 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 I'm a media personality. I'm not going to let my emotions show. Simple. Okay, and that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by visiting and subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shunkeye, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie. Godwin, do stay safe.